Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. My name is Ms. Kalena and I'm a librarian at the Detroit Public Library's Refer Branch. Now that we're in Black History Month, what better way to celebrate Black History Month than to read books written by African American children's authors. So lend me your eyes and your ears as we take a journey into Not Quite Snow White. Today, I'll be reading Not Quite Snow White, written by Ashley Franklin, illustrated by Ebony Glenn. For Tamika, it was always the right time and place to dance and sing. A swayful sad dance. Tamika had a hip rolling happy dance and a hair flicking just because she felt fabulous dance. A stumping mad dance. She sang high with the tweeting birds and low with the croaking frogs. She always shared her love of music and movement with an audience stuffed and unstuffed. Tamika loved the stage. It was her perfect place. She was the star of every show and she loved every show that she starred in. She had been a cucumber, a space cowgirl, a dinosaur, and her favorite part a singing mermaid. On stage, Tamika felt like she could be anything or anyone she wanted to be, but she had never been a princess. Now she would finally have her chance. Tamika was so excited that she went to both days of auditions for the Snow White musical. On the first day, she arrived super early she helped friends with their lines, kept count for the dancers, and shooed butterflies from nervous tummies so songs could be sung. After the audition, Tamika heard some of the other kids whispering, She can't be Snow White. She's too tall. She's much too chubby. And she's Tamika looked at her legs. They were long. Maybe the kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince. Should she? She looked at her belly. Maybe what the kids said was true. She could not remember any chubby princesses. Tamika looked at her skin. She was brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White. Could those kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for wanting to be this princess. Samika slouched and sucked in her belly. She tried pulling down her sleeves, but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she didn't feel like dancing or singing. At dinner, Tamika didn't tap her feet or clang rhythms with her spoon. Is something wrong? Asked her mom. The other kids said I'm too tall, too chubby, and too brown. I'm not right for Snow White, said Tamika. You've got it all wrong, mom said. You are tall enough, chubby enough, and brown enough to be a perfect princess. Besides, said her dad, Snow White is just pretend. You've always been my real princess. You're just enough of all the right stuff. He kissed her forehead. Tamika smiled. Maybe her parents were on to something. At the audition the next day, Tamika watched all the other kids get on stage and do their best. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her long legs were still a little jittery. She closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite audience of friends, 
stuffed and unstuffed. Then she remembered the joy she felt when performing. Tamika knew she could do it. And she did. She shone like the star she was. She could act, she could dance, she could sing. She loved herself as much as she loved music and movement. Tamika was a perfectly poised princess. When her audition was over, Tamika looked out to the smiling faces. Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. The end. <laughs>